I just come back from kayaking uh, on the Delaware River and uh, the boat is filthy and my legs are really muddy. So uh, people ask, how do you clean up on a little tiny trailer? What do you do? There's no bathroom in there. What do you do? So my answer is, the first thing is I carry these water tubs basins and they are just great for a lot of things washing your dishes doing uh, all sorts of things so uh, with these fill them up with water get a uh, sponge in this case a silicone sponge and you can just scrub down and rinse off and these are great because you can control how much water you're using it's not a flow you just uh, use minimal water here and you can extend your water if that's a concern right uh, brush your teeth, wash up, everything's going to be great. So, but, there are some people, there are some people who are not happy with that. There are some people who want a shower. And for those people, there is a potential option. And uh, I'll show you what I've come up with. Uh, down here, where I normally store the water bucket, which is multi-purpose water bucket, is... Uh, on the vestibule, this water line here, this one, this comes from the water tank below. It comes up and it, uh, it goes into the water pump. So what I did, this is a Cosmo Weems exclusive. I'm sure somebody else has invented it too, but I claim it because I thought of it. So I put on a T-connector and the T-connector allows me to divert the water. There's a valve back here. I can flip the switch and divert the water draw where it's going to draw the water from it'll now draw it from this hose and uh, you guessed it that hose is going to go into a water bucket and let me get that now this is a three gallon water bucket i dip my hose in there my hose is long enough to go in there and i can make that hose anything get a hose that makes you happy uh, okay so now i'm drawing water from this bucket and i can use this uh, sprayer to hose down my feet, my legs. There we go. Okay, I can clean up, I can wash up. Uh, I can take a shower if I want to, wash my hair. I can hose down the boat, get some of that spooge off of here to some really icky stuff and mud, and uh, I can use this. Now, this is a three gallon water can, and you know, the flow rate, I clocked it, I tested this, the flow rate is a gallon a minute. So you're gonna get a three minute shower out of this. And yeah, I think the first minute you can get adequately wet to uh, soap up. Showers are all about the rinse. I, I gotta tell you, you know, you, the first minute you soap up, but you really want that rinse. And uh, in order to get a good rinse, you know, you're gonna need at least two minutes. And uh, you know, be cra don't be crazy with your soap. You'll figure it out. Uh, you're 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 good. So, uh, so if you need a five-minute shower, well, then uh, you get yourself a five-gallon container of water. Uh, if you need a ten-minute shower, get yourself two five gallons. Uh, you know, whatever <laughs> whatever you want to do. I think out here a shower is a little bit wasteful. I think that uh, the tub method is probably, if your water is a concern, the tub method probably uh, is a good way to go. So. Uh, that's how you take a shower on a teardrop trailer. You just use your hand sprayer. It's not rocket science. Uh, and you put a little diverter in down there and uh, you're in business. You've got, a, uh, you've got water on tap. I could use the nine gallons that are in the trailer, but um, I, I want a warm shower. So I'd have to heat up some water and put it in the bucket and, you know, and put it in a tank. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So I leave that alone, the nine gallons in the, uh, in the trailer, and I just use my, uh, my bucket method. So uh, I'm sure you'll adapt your own method and your own uh, refinements. Uh, good luck. And uh, a clean camper is a happy camper.